Hi everybody, my name is Lona Evans. I'm a clinical psychotherapist and today's video is about depression. So we can learn a little bit more about what depression is and begin to understand how we can start to be well and do something about it. So depression is extremely common. Statistically, it's around one in four people will experience some form of depression in their lifetime. I would say that's a lot higher, um, especially in terms of the pandemic. What we will notice on one end of the scale is lower mood, wanting to be on our own, a bit short tempered, not wanting to move our bodies. Our thinking will begin to deteriorate. On the other end of the scale, it's far worse where we're going to have extreme suicidal thoughts, negative thoughts and even suicide. So it's really important that today we start to look at some of the common symptoms, understand what it is and really understand what we need to do to be well. So the gem of information around depression is that it doesn't just happen. There is stuff in our environment that is making us feel like this and making us feel stuck. So what is making us feel stuck? Often it is anger and frustration that is trapped in the body. We are not being heard and choice has been taken away from us. So just notice what that might be for you, especially where we are with the pandem pandemic, what choice has been taken away from us? So again, I'm really putting a highlighter under the fact that this isn't just happening. I'm not just depressed. There are, is always a reason for it in the environment that is making us feel like this. Yes, we have bad days. Yes, on certain times of the month, we're going to have low mood. We're not going to feel great. We're going to have bad days. Notice with depression, what might be keeping you stuck. There's something always, always going on. There are two main types of depression. Um, there is clinical depression. Clinical depression, people will be on medication, would have been on medication for a long time, and more than likely aren't showing up for work. So this is less likely to be seen in the workplace with people who are functioning. This may be trauma related and issues from the past. The second type is reactive depression. This is the most common one, reactive depression. So again, it's highlighting that something has happened to make us feel like this and something is keeping us stuck here. So I'm gonna talk about now some areas in our life that this is going to impact. Relationships are really important with depression. So it may be uh, that there's been a relationship breakdown, that um, there's been some communication issues, that we're not being heard. Um, so our relationships are a really, and these may be work relationships, they're relationships with our partner, interpersonal relationships, relationships with family. What is going on there? that is triggering your depression. Also money, money is a massive trigger for depression, okay? In terms of debt, mortgage, can I pay the mortgage? Job security, does that even exist? What's going on with COVID and the pandemic? Huge triggers for depression. Chronic pain is a real trigger for depression. They're very closely linked together. So people who are living with chronic pain, especially when there's a lot of medication involved, there's gonna be some real impact on depression and mood. Grief also is um, linked to depression. So it's just worth noticing, is this a recent bereavement? Also, it's worth noticing, is there an anniversary of a loss of a time when someone has died who we love. Just really bringing that into our awareness with some compassion for ourselves around that. The workplace is a really big trigger for depression, okay? Usually the number one is a bad boss. Have I got a bad boss? Is there any bullying going on? Am I being heard at work? Am I concerned about reviews or are people looking into too much detail about my work? Especially with working from home now, there's a lot more stress around the workplace. Also deadlines, are deadlines, am I, are, they, are they realistic? Are they not realistic? Am I able to delegate? Is my boss hearing me? Or am I in crunch? Am I working to, I don't know, say I'm working in technology. Do I have to really hit this deadline? Am I working over and above the hours I'm contracted for? Really keep an eye on that. Really keep an eye on that. So a useful visual with depression is to imagine a pile of pennies. So I've got a pile of pennies and they're wonky pennies on my hand. And then something happens, right? Because life's been fine. It's not perfect. Life's not perfect. 
We have ups, we have downs, we have tough times, we have good times. So it's not, but we've been okay, okay? But then something has happened in the environment to make those pennies fall over. And that's where we are going to notice an impact on our sleep. We're going to be losing interest in things that we really used to have a lot of interest in. We don't want to see our friends. We're not going to be eating as well. So it's really to hold in mind what has gone on to make those pennies fall over. What's happening in the environment to keep you stuck. And that is depression. So with depression, common side effects are you're going to be feeling tired low energy, not wanting to move your body, impact on sleep, very little interest in things that you used to be really interested in, maybe quite forgetful, very common symptoms. So stay with me for these next two videos where we're gonna be looking at how depression impacts your body so you can understand more about this and also tools to be well so we can heal and get well from depression.